Good morning, children. Show me good sitting and good listening. So that I can see you are ready to do good learning. Amazing sitting. Now I know that you are ready. I have some lovely stickers here that I will give to all the good listeners at the end of the session. Look it here. It's Ted. Say good morning to Ted. What I would do is, I put Ted here to do good learning just like this. Let's start with days of the week. Hmm, what day is today? That's right, it's Monday. What sound does Monday start with? Hmm, Monday. Today is Monday, today is Monday, yesterday was Sunday, yesterday was Sunday, tomorrow is Tuesday, tomorrow is Tuesday, let's have fun, let's have fun. Today we are going to learn some new words. What part of the body is this? What part of the body is this? Ankle. Shake. Shake. Shake your wrist. Shake your wrist. Wrist. Ankle. Shake. Today we are going to talk about the story of the gingerbread. What do you think happened at the beginning of the story? Which picture is the beginning of the story? I also think that this is the beginning of the story. When grandpa and grandma would like to get a gingerbread house. What happened next? Yes, the gingerbread man ran away. Let's put the picture in the right order. In the end of the story, the fox tricks the gingerbread man and he eats him all. Up. What have we done today? First, we learned about the days of the week. Today is Monday. Then, we learned our special words. Wrist, ankle, Last, we talked about the story of the gingerbread man and we put them in order. Who is the best listener? You all are the best listener. Well done for today. See you next time for Nelly Lesson. In the brief clips that you've watched, Please understand that everything is coming from these resource books. The session that we took you through with the clips was session two in the first book. Now, what you could see is that everything has an introduction, and that was days of the week. Now, I always mention listening games, and there are a lot of really good listening game ideas on page 109 and there, there are lots of them in the clip the trainer was showing you that her particular style was to use praise and to 
show the children that they should get ready for listening and be involved and that works for her but if we have any reluctant listeners or children who are learning to focus then you could definitely use some listening games from that introduction that opening of days of the week we moved on to introducing special words and that's the vocabulary part of the session and in this one it was wrist ankle and shake and then it moved on to the narrative part which was the gingerbread man story and then at the end the last clip you saw the plenary so these clips are just short prompts to help you to follow the structure but actually the session itself for a group should take 30 minutes and that's you can see it's the same structure through all the sessions but you would just use the structure and pace yourself bearing in mind that children are going to participate and interact to create a 30 minute group session for up to four children at a time everything is in the book roughly speaking it's not exactly because the book book will map it out for you but there are three 30 minute group sessions per week in a small group of no more than four children so the group sessions that you're doing which is the bare minimum that's an hour and a half for those four children now what they also recommend is that in addition each one of the four children gets two 15 minute individual sessions per week so what that would mean is it would be three and a half hours if you did the whole thing but if we just did the group sessions which in itself are very powerful that would be an hour and a half of each adult delivering it they map out everything and what the trainer also explained to me is that what you really need to do is use the book and be organized so you've got all the resources and then yes you can build your own um, program following their structure but you really need to be organized before each lesson so the lessons move really swiftly and enjoyably and the children are getting the structure and learning the structure and in that way really building up their listening skills and their speaking skills and their understanding of narrative structure so after each group session you'll need to complete this sheet the the truth is that most of the sheet could be completed before the session and actually would be good to complete before the session because that will help you plan so we spoke about listening game or introduction and um, that's what we said in the clip that you watched there wasn't a listening game used if you want to go to page 109 that very much depends on what you want to do words taught reinforced and the set in the clips you watched was ankle wrist shake and then the narrative task was the gingerbread man the most important one obviously you need the children's name and whether they attended so that we can actually track because there's no point if they were supposedly in the intervention but weren't they missed it all the time best listener um, i'm going to say it doesn't have to be one it could be as you saw in the clips that it could be all of them and then the session timing well let me just flip to page 20 in the book which actually gives you their breakdown of the timing and i would say again you can um, adapt this to how best you think but this is a really good indicator and there you can see that it works out at half an hour right uh, actually this works out at 25 minutes and they've built in five minutes for you to just uh, be able to give you a bit of flexibility and then the most important part of here when you're filling it in is are these general comments like if you noticed anything about a specific child if, if a specific child made progress if a specific child um, needed more support you'd use that these are for the group sessions the individual sessions have a slightly um, more detailed sheet and again everything is in the book what you would do for the individual sessions and again in the individual sessions what you would mark it's the similar thing that you when you're planning it you pretty much put what you're going to do in the session with the child and then again just the general comments at the bottom help you to track when that child has made enough progress to not need it if another child can come in or if there's a child that maybe might need a bit of um, reinforcement at home or something like that.